Going into Heated Chain, I was a little worried um, because getting through someone or something is hard to do. We need to get a way to uh, have a chain be heated red hot and to do so safely. And then we need to figure out some kind of heat analog for human flesh that we can then drape the chain over. And all those things are challenges in their own right. You put all of them together and it's just like a whole lot of trouble. Three, two, Think of how hot something would have to be to take an ice cube and turn it immediately into steam without melting it. In asking the heated chain to go through a person, which is more or less like water, fleshy water, it has to be hot enough to have enough heat energy to get a whole chunk of vertical person flashing to steam in seconds. Oh, you know what? That's a fantastic amount of control. I think we'll, we're gonna be able to lay it right on them. We have a mannequin that has a vertical middle section made out of silicone rubber. Ooh. Now the reason we're using silicone is yeah. because it ignites at a similar temperature as animal flesh. Mm -hmm. Now we're not using ballistics gel, which is what we'd usually go to, because ballistics gel, while it uh, simulates impacts really well, it melts at a very low temperature and that would not be accurate. It comes apart right here. I guess. What we've settled on is rather than trying to have like a forge or a furnace heat up this chain, we're just going to have someone on set heat it up with an oxyacetylene torch. And that way we know that's gonna heat up relatively fast and it's gonna do so in a controlled manner. And we won't have to worry about like a big old propane torch or, or charcoal or anything like that. And it's good, it looks like we're being super safe with today's test. Right, it'd be a shame if someone were to get burned. The thing just happened, and you're both at the table. Okay. Pat, pat. And then we're gonna introduce you as being a character in this show. Great. And then we'll get to the <laughs> safety and filming stuff. Awesome. Cool. All right. So back at the same spot. Ultimately, like if you when you want the whole chain glowing, that will take time mm -hmm. because I'm gonna have to be moving back and forth across the whole chain. So we'll want to probably do a preheat off camera because it will get a little slow watching. Like. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Right. So did did you actually cut a guy in half once? Okay. He's also kind of a sticky boy, but he's our melty boy. We got melty boy, squishy boy, floppy boy, and then the sticky quin tuplets. We're not chaining. Three, two, one. Oh, oh sh my, oh, my body! Oh! My oh. I'm a metal worker. I've um, done a lot of welding and blacksmithing and taught classes in both things for a long time. I love being able to understand how the world is put together and build my own things. Um, I actually used to be a performer in the circus and that's why I learned how to weld because I wanted to learn how to be able to weld my own aerial apparatuses. that the fatality took. Uh, and the, the limiting factor here was we didn't want to set the whole room on fire. Yeah. Uh, your clothes might ignite, but it's not going through your clothes. Yeah. yeah, I mean, certainly terrible burns, but no cut. We did see some damage on our flesh analog, uh, given that the heated chain, given Ween's displacement law, and it was glowing red hot, was probably around 500 degrees Celsius in parts, if not more in other parts. And so it did what we would expect it to do to real flesh. It might cook it a little bit and char the outside, burn the skin maybe, but it's not gonna set it on fire and make it combust and move out of the way so the chain can go through. So what Alan and I decided to do is find something that would definitely get out of the way. And that's why uh, we used the material that we did and it set on fire instantaneously and melted through the test subject in about the amount of time <laughs> that the fatality takes in uh, MK11. 
I think this may have been one of the best replications of the fatalities that we see in the game, so I was very, very happy with it. Even though it produced a lot of noxious smoke, maybe that's why Scorpion has a skull face. <laughs> Today's testing, I've enlisted the help of science nerd, super friend, and person. <laughs> I'm a person. I don't like the motion of hacky sagging because it makes you look like you're like a like a like a centaur, like like creature, like. Oh, I have a riddle for you, and you'll never figure it out. I'll see you in a hot minute. Catch the full episode on Nerdist.com.